assalamu alaikum in this video tutorial we are going to discuss about dorsal column medial lamniscus dcml dorsal column medial lamniscus is a type of ascending tracts ascending tracts refers to the neural pathway which carries the sensory information through the peripheral nerves to the cerebral cortex the main function of DCML dorsal column medial lamniscus is to carry the sensory information of fine touch which is tactile sensations, uh, vibration and proprioception from the skin and joints via peripheral nerves and it transmits those signals to the cerebral cortex. The dorsal column medial lamniscus pathway comprises of three neurons, first order neuron, second order neuron and third order neurons. The first order neuron senses and detects the sensory information of fine touch, vibration and proprioception either from the skin or joints or from both and transmit it to the second order neuron. The first order neuron carries the sensory information of fine touch, vibration and proprioception from skin and then travels through the fasciculus cuneatus if the sensory information of fine touch vibration proprioception is coming from the upper limb above the level of thoracic six vertebra if the sensory information is coming from upper if the sensory information is coming from above the level of thoracic six vertebra upper limb then the first order neurons travels through the fasciculus cuneatus and if the sensory information is coming from the lower limb below the level of thoracic six vertebra then uh, first order neuron travels through the through the fasciculus gracilis here where fasciculus gracilis resides and here where fasciculus cuneatus resides if the sensory information is coming from upper limb then first order neuron will travel through like this from here then here and, and if the sensitive information is coming from the lower limb below the level of thoracic six vertebra then first order neuron will travel like this like showing in the screen here is fasciculus gracilis resides then the first order neuron then ascends inside the spinal cord and transmits the signals to the medulla oblongata where the second order neuron lies. The second order neuron lies in the cuneate nucleus or gracilis nucleus. If the sensory information is coming from the upper limb, then first order neuron synapse in the nucleus cuneate. And if the sensory information is coming from the lower limb, then the first order neuron synapse at the gracilis nucleus. So here in this screen, we are showing sensory information of lower limb. So the first order neuron is synapsing at the nucleus gracilis, gracilis nucleus. At the medulla oblongata, gracilis nucleus is present where first order neuron resides and second order neuron is present. The first order neuron synapses at the second order neuron, then second order neuron delivers dead signals which are coming from first order neurons and decussates. Decussate means it changes its path. To the opposite sides here is showing the first the second order neuron is changing its path from right to left if the sensitive information is coming from the right side of the body then the second order neuron will take the seats to the left side and if the sensory information is coming from left side of the body then the second order neuron will take a seat and takes the opposite side which is right the second order neuron decussates inside the medulla oblongata and ascends and synapses in the thalamus of the brain where third order neuron lies. The third order, ne the third order neuron lies the ventral posterolateral nucleus of the thalamus. In the thalamus, there are many nucleus. Uh, one of them is ventral posterolateral nucleus. Inside the ventral posterolateral nucleus, third order neuron lies. The second order neuron ascends and synapses with the third order neuron. The third order neuron carries those signals which are obtaining from the second order neuron and transmit it to the primary sensory cortex of the brain.
here primary sensory cortex of the brain decides the dose signals which are coming from the skin first carried by the first order neuron first order neuron travels through the fasciculus gracilis because the sensory information is coming from the lower limb then first order neuron ascends inside the spinal cord along with the fasciculus gracilis then first order neuron synapse in the second with the second order neuron which resides in the medulla oblongata in the gracilis nucleus and then second order neuron decussates and ascends then synapse with the third order neuron which resides in the ventral posterior lateral nucleus of the thalamus then the third order neuron carries those signals to the primary sensory cortex of the brain